So when you see a message like this presented to you, and people might be sending it to you, forwarding it to you, how does that make you all feel? Like crap? <laughs> yeah, in two words, yeah. Um, well, I, I guess I speak specifically to um, how, how the community reacts to it, so that's mm -hmm. really important. Um, there were a lot of messages of support, and those got like the most likes, which is heartening for sure. Um, but there were also messages of hate and violence. Um, one individual threatened to beat the living hell out of someone who did not enter the restroom that was their assigned sex at birth. Mm -hmm. And that terrifies me. It honestly terrifies me. And um, I had a lot of anxiety last night about it. I was crying and I was angry and I was afraid. And I, you know, want to feel safe in the world. I want to go about and do all of the normal things that people do without having to think about my gender, without having to think about, is this person so far and extreme in their beliefs that they're willing to beat them into me with yeah. their fists? And it only takes meeting one of those people to put you in the hospital or put you in your grave. So yeah. that is a sobering thought. Yeah, I actually had, the thought came to mind, like, do I need to have a friend go to the bathroom with me from now on? Um, it wasn't something that um, had, I'd had any trouble with before, but, you know, just getting exposed to more of those messages, it makes you really worry. Like, I could run into, I could run into somebody who doesn't have, who doesn't like me in there, and they could act very violently. How many people like to go out on a weekend or when they have the time to go out? I know every weekend, like, I think that's my life because I'm also a drag performer. I perform at the Max and Flick, so usually Thursday through Sunday, I'm at a bar. And uh, now this is, has come out, like, those going piggybacking back on those fears. Now it's even more put, now that I know there are actual, like, I knew there were people in Nebraska who felt this way, but now those people are coming to light. And I could easily be walking down the street and someone who has seen me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, can be like, that's, a, that's that trans girl. And follow me and get me somewhere. And then, boom, bam, something's happening to me. So that's where most of like, my anger behind that whole post and this is coming out. Because like, it's even more now that we're not protected. As a mother, my kids are not any more in danger of going to the restroom in the same one as a transgender person as they are anybody else. Um, as far as dangers to children go, that's what parents are for, to teach them how to avoid dangers, and that's, that has nothing to do with, with whoever's peeing in the next stall. And, you know, my children aren't looking underneath the stall. Well, at least I'm trying to teach them not to. At least my three-year-old <laughs> is hopefully learning. But either way, you know, that's not what, that's just so irrelevant to, being a parent and to say to try to play on parents fears of sexual molesters by pointing it at the trans community is just yeah it's a low blow yeah. <laughs> i also have a three and a half year old and uh, that's a trans person coming into the restroom is like the last thing on my mind i've been a preschool teacher for years i worked with kids since i was 16. i started teaching dance when i was 16 all the way up till now and when I saw that you were bringing children in, that hurt me to the core because I think children are a gift to the life. And I've changed diapers, I've kissed boo-boos, I've held them when they have spilled milk and they thought that was the, the end of the world. Mm -hmm. I've been a parent to a lot of kids who walked into my classroom. So for someone to say that someone like me is going to hurt a child, that had me to the point where I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> now you, I need to put on the gloves because now the fight, it's, you're taking it into a whole new level of statistics and I'm a person about numbers you yeah. show me that uh, someone of my community has done this to a kid then I can we can talk about it but that hasn't happened it has yeah. whichever gender my children identify with um, I want them to be who they are and it's just in such a world with hate with such hate uh, in a world with such hate going around um, and such discrimination it just even if they are says even if they stay with their born identities then that just makes a less of a world for them. They're not born with any 
notions of gender. You know, my three-year-old's starting to be like, I'm a girl, but then her hair got cut short, and so some kids are like, oh, you're a boy. And she's like, no, I'm a girl. I just have short hair. What's the big deal? Like, she doesn't care. Um, my my son, you know, he's been going to with me to pride to pride parades since he was really little, and he's like, I don't care about all that. That I just want the candy, and I love all the rainbows. And <laughs> <laughs> when people ask you about like, oh well, what parts? I've literally had somebody like after asking my name, what parts do you have? And it was just like, uh, how invasive uh, to flip that table. I, I mean, it's so invasive when you see it the other way around. Yeah. I think, honestly, a lot of it still has to do with internalized homophobia um, because I think the question beneath that question when they're asking you about your genitalia is um, a fear, like, if I'm attracted to you and you don't have the things that I think that you have down there, then what does that make me and what do I have to look at and what do I not want to look at? And those are the kind of things yeah. that are incredibly scary. I work at the mall, one of my jobs is at the mall. There are guys who come in all the time mm -hmm. who compliment me or anything like that. I'm sure they can't really, like, I don't say, like, I'm sure some people say I'm passable, some people say I don't. But in one instance, someone can say, hey, that's a trans girl. And in my mall, I can get beat up. And who's, whose fault is it? Who are they going to put the blame on? Well, are there laws out there to protect that? No. no. Uh, There's not that many laws for trans. I mean, Assaulting somebody is a crime, mm, sure. But um, yeah. there have been cases. Um, I don't know how recently of the trans panic defense mm -hmm. um, used even in cases of murder, even internationally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I mean, the still. I mean, just getting uh, like being assaulted or murdered is bad enough. But I mean, how much can it mean to just lose to your to lose your job? I've lost a job for being trans before, and I'm lucky enough now to work in a place that's totally supportive of everything. But they didn't know I was trans, they found out I was trans, and the next day I was let go. And there's oh. absolutely nothing I could do about it. They loved me up until that point, I had been there almost a year, and wow, suddenly, cut too. Yeah, suddenly <laughs> it wasn't okay for them to be in the bathroom with me anymore. If you consider yourself an ally to the LGBT community, this is a very great time for you to put yourself out there and be here, stand with us. Like, you may have a cousin, sister, like friend, coworker, you don't know. So just be out there in the front. Speak on it. Come hug a girl. Like, yeah. on the trans visibility, I was like, hug me. I put on my Facebook, come yeah. hug me. I want to know who's there for me. Come hug me. Talk yeah. to me. What can happen? Like, because I need to know that I have that supportive background so I can be able to, I was kind of like putting on the armor for a fight. Mm -hmm. And the allies are what we're gearing ourselves up for for this fight. We're here to say th these people, these good people who pay taxes, go to work, whatever, are behind us. There are things that, like, really will change people's minds and and don't take a whole lot of effort that you can just like let people know trans women or women trans men or men um let people use the bathrooms that they're comfortable with let mm -hmm. people express as they are and don't judge them for what that is mm -hmm. um calling out those kinds of transphobic statements wherever they come from and whenever you see it and like being very loud that these are your friends and that these mm -hmm. are the people that you love and that you stand behind them.